always had painful periods. Um, my period started when I was like 13 and I had to leave school the day it started. I was in so much pain. And it's been like that forever. It's always been taking time off work and leaving a college class in the middle of a session because your pain was so intense and crying all the way home because your legs were going numb. And I always thought that was normal. And I would get maybe four good days and then the next period would start. So they started calling me an enigma saying, there's nothing wrong, it's all in your head, you know. Well, I had to go to three different doctors to um, convince them to do a surgery. I mean, you don't, it's not like everybody goes in asking, can you cut me open? I want you to see what's going on. I remember coming out of the anesthesia and you know, they say you, you're not gonna remember what we tell you. And uh, I have good news and I have bad news. And he said, the good news is you were right. We found endometriosis. He said, the bad news is by the time, you know, we've done this surgery, it's so far gone that there was nothing we could do about it. I just remember crying. It was so overwhelming to hear that you had this, sorry, I'm gonna like cry now. <laughs> um, it's really overwhelming to hear that you have a disease that they could have done something about, but they, they refused to help you. And that's kind of like how the medical system is. But um, yeah, so I mean, I had these pictures and I just remember going home and staring at these pictures of my gut was black, covered with just these black blood things. I mean, you, I don't even can't describe it. It just looks, it looks like you're invaded with something. Yeah. It wasn't just a little bit. So of course it's, it was overwhelming. And to know coming out of it, to know that you have to live with this pain now, because that's there. That's their theory. So I didn't take very well to the surgery and um, I got scared. And I think it was really good that I got scared or else I would have taken it. I've always just done what the doctors tell me because they're doctors. And um, I started doing research online and I just typed in healing endometriosis naturally and lo and behold, <laughs> one of the first things that popped up was your book. Um, I started reading your book and I couldn't put it down. I literally read it in like a day. It was just, it was like I was reading my own story. Nobody that really made me feel like this is what I went through, this is how I'm feeling, and this is what worked for me. Um, and I was skeptical because I've never believed in taking a natural route. I really have always been a Western medicine type of person. But the book just seemed like it just really spoke to me and really, just open my eyes to the possibility that, wow, if this is true, there's a chance that I can fix things without um, having to go the route of, um, you know, the medical route. And within about, I would say, eight weeks of starting on my, excuse me, on my own, following what I was trying my best to on your book, I started getting a lot of relief. Three, the doctors there were pretty skeptical that what they're gonna see is maybe it's a little better, but it's probably the same situation. She stopped and she goes, it looks perfectly fine. She goes, your flow is so good. So the dye flows through the tube and, and she goes, everything is passing through. So your tubes are good. She goes, I just remember being so happy. Like that was one of the best news I, we had received since you know all of this had happened. Um, it was just really good to know that like, wow, now we have a chance that we can we can actually have kids. Like this endometriosis, it can be stopped and things can get better. To be going through stuff online, your book popped up again and below it said foundation program. And, um, and I don't know how I didn't notice it before and I clicked on it and realized I could work one-on-one -on -one with you. And at that point, your book had helped me so much. I was, really excited to be able to have the opportunity to actually work with you because I knew I could get more <laughs> from just the book and yeah. Um, so yeah so I started working with you in I don't even remember if it was me and um, the doctor said that so there's no endometriosis that we can see at all and I was just it was mind-blowing to, to hear that of, what do you mean there's nothing? There's gotta be, they said there's nothing that could be done. I mean, I've been doing this thing with Wendy, but <laughs> you know, there's gotta be something. 
And um, she said, no, there wasn't. And um, I think that was like one of the best news that we had got it. It was, it was really, it's still shocking to know that here you were told only a few months back in November that there's once it hits your gut like that, it that's it. I mean, you've got like they really scare you. Yeah. And um and now to hear that, you know, it's basically in a remission state, it's going away, um, was just amazing to hear. Um it really so proved. <laughs> and in a short while, it was what, January to July, everything cleared up. Um, pretty black wow. it's yeah. got a lot of um, it looks like it's black and blue um, yeah. and I have my a couple. gut the same area of my gut is up here and it's completely normal yeah. so there's amazing. nothing on there it was really amazing to see and I mean yeah I mean I can't I can't put it into words it's just really really exciting but I know if we continue with the program, that can all go away because obviously it's gone away on the other parts. Looks really good. So no cysts, my appendix was great. Um, yep, and I think that's a big part of what this program has really helped too is um, it's really hard to deal with endometriosis. Um, it's not a disease that people consider a disease unless they have it. Um, just, and it really can debilitate a person. Um, because it completely knocked me. I was bedridden um, for weeks. Um, it really does affect you. Um, so that was hard. So you, you feel very alone, which was which what I really loved about the program is not only having you, but you you do these conferences and we get to see um, there's other women that I've you know we're talking to face to face, and it's just it's just so nice. It's really refreshing. Um, to have that, but it's also given me the confidence to build a better relationship with my husband because now we understand what are we really dealing with. It's not just, oh, she's whining again, her period, okay, whatever. Um, and then for him to even notice, like, hey, do you remember that like last year you were having eight day long periods and it's like three days down and you're fine and um, it's, you almost want to go and wave the pictures in their face and say, look, I did this all naturally. I'm just like, I'm on this road now to being so close to, to being back to where I was, um, which is super exciting. Really, I feel like, like you're a combination of like a nutritionist, health coach, life coach. Um, yeah, it's really how it goes to show like, it just changes you so much overall. So it's just been so amazing. It's been a really amazing journey. I just, I loved it for all aspects of what it's done, um, the friendships it's created. I feel like um, Susan, who's in the program right now, like even though I've never met her, it's it's really enjoyable to be able to, to sit and talk with her every two weeks with you. And so you kind of create a community. And, but as soon as you get that one little, it just takes a little change in your pain to realize something's changing or to be able to come off painkillers. Yes. I mean, that's a huge thing because, I mean, they really don't make you feel great. And you don't realize that until you stop taking them. Um, it's Bye. worth, if anything, having that support network. Um, I mean, I know you even have the advanced program. So, I mean, there's a possibility you're not going to be 100% fixed at the end of the 12 weeks. But what it did for me, I mean, I think we're on week 11 now. We're almost me. done. It gave me the tools that I didn't know to have. I wouldn't have even thought. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's been really, really good. It's so been really fun. It is a really fun journey. Once you can get past the, um, stop focusing on your pain and stop focusing on endometriosis and focus on you getting better. There, but um, it works. I mean, I can't say it doesn't work. So um, no, I'm thankful too. No, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no problem.